Hey, what's going on YouTube? Dan here. Wanted to do a quick video on Sarah and I's washer dryer solution. We did a video earlier, I'll put a link here for our drying solution, which is actually a clothes rack. Uh, cheap, easy. But as far as washing, you'll see here in a minute, the model Puma we have in our bedroom has a closet for a washer dryer combo. And there's plenty of room for it, but Sarah and I looked at it and said, one, we don't want to spend the outrageous money on a washer dryer combo. We read a lot of negative reviews on them quitting and having trouble when you do those combos. And we didn't want that extra weight. So come with me. And the solution that we found was this higher top load compact clothes washer. It is a one cubic foot clothes washer. It has the ability, we have it hooked, as you can see here, we have it hooked to just cold water. Um, I know some of you are probably gonna ask, well, how clean do you get your clothes using the cold water? And Sarah wanted me to share that she uses the Tide cold water uh, when she's doing her wash. It comes with a hookup actually to do it at your sink. So if you don't have a closet like this and you have space in your camper to uh, travel with one of these, you could hook it up to the kitchen sink or even your outdoor sink if you wanted. And at that point, you, when you hook to the faucet with the adapter, you could actually do all hot, all cold, or uh, any mixture. Here's the inside and we're gonna walk through all of these settings in a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and do a load of towels. We'll time out how long it takes to run a complete cycle. We'll go from there. So talking about all the cycles that this offers, here's the handy dandy manual. It is actually a pretty uh, thorough manual. Looks like in English and Espanol. We have normal cycle for cottons, linens, mixed garments, 13 to 16 wash, rinse, spin. That's apparently the wash process. Estimated time, 35 minutes. We have a heavy duty wash, which is your heavy soil, durable, color fast fabrics. Quick wash for cotton linens and mixed garments. Wash only for all, wash and rinse all. Rinse and spin unsoiled garments and spin only clean soaking wet garments. So if you're wondering exactly how much one cubic foot is, which I did, here is the size of the bath towels that we use in the camper. They are nice, long, fluffy bath towels. And this will actually hold three of those. We'll go ahead and load three in here. Show you what that looks like. I think if you had some smaller towels, you could actually go more, but I think this is perfect for three. And now we'll start it up and uh, show you how it works. Now it's as simple as we press the power on button. It defaults to a medium water level. I'm gonna go ahead and push that up to high. I'm gonna leave it on the normal power wash cycle, rinse and spin. I'm not gonna do anything else. And just as a note, we are not putting any detergent in here. These are already clean. This is just to show you guys how it performs and how it fills up. And we also will time this to see how long it takes to, uh, to run a cycle. We are starting at 425. So that took three, three and a half minutes to completely fill. And I had to put the lid down for safety purposes, but I'll get a close up hopefully without my face in there. You see it's agitating. It doesn't have an agitator in the middle as you saw, but it does a good job of uh, spinning back and forth. I don't know what that technical term for that would be. Oscillation, I, I don't know. 
Anyway, it does a nice job of spinning the clothes back and forth. We'll see how long the cycle takes to run now. So while we let this cycle uh, and do its thing, we'll time out how long that, that takes to do. But I also wanted to share, uh, when we were talking earlier about weight, this unit weighs between 45 and 50 pounds, which was a big plus for us. When it comes to winterization, this is something that we will actually take out of the unit and store inside so we don't have to worry about any of its internal workings, getting cold or anything like that. So it's easy to transport in and out. And like I said, if you did just have this and not the closet, it would be easy to move in and out of your camper uh, from its storage spot to the front to wash. So we'll keep an eye on how long this takes and we'll get back to you. Okay, so I let the washer run. I had it on, um, let's see, just got the book right here. I had it on high water level. I had it on normal cycle and it said estimated time 35 minutes it was actually 28 minutes to run full cycle uh, so not a bad time on it um, final thoughts we have used it all summer so far we used it on vacation and it was my wife and I our son and his friend that went um, so there's four people utilizing it works great the disadvantages small loads um, you know three towels at a time is not much. Now when you're talking like t-shirts, shorts, unmentionables, all that, you can fit quite a bit more in there. Um, but when you're doing towels or something like that, you know, you're not getting as, as, as much as you want out of it. You're not going to fit comforters or anything like that. You are going to have to go to the laundromat or if the campground has a laundry facility, you will have to go up there. All in all, we absolutely love it. Couple of that with the clothes dryer that we're using and it's fantastic um, it's lightweight it's portable it's versatile um, the the one of the things i haven't even talked about is price point um, you know these washer dryer combos are 11 12 1300 this thing was actually 199 dollars. you can buy it at target or walmart i'll go ahead and put links in the description so $200 investment for an easy to use, portable, uh, lightweight clothes washing, and it was a, a no brainer for us. Um, I don't know that it'll work for everybody. Some people might not like the clothesline option. We actually store the clothesline here under the bed, so it makes it easy. And again, like I was saying earlier, my plan is, is I will actually take this out in the winter. It'll be one less thing that I'll have to worry about freezing or causing some kind of a problem in the system of the, of the camper. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please go ahead and make sure and hit the like. If you really like the video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe. And as always, leave a comment, a question, or whatever below. I, I try to respond to everybody. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for watching.